Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. All right, here's another homework question you might see in uh, my math lab. It says, if the hypotenuse of a right triangle is one meter more than the longer leg and the shorter leg is five meters long, find the length of the longer leg. So you're going to want to, since you see that it's a right triangle and you're talking about the lengths of the legs, use the Pythagorean theorem. And then we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So label your legs, which are the two sides adjacent to the right angle. You're going to label those a and b. And the longest, and it doesn't matter which, by the way, if you switch these and put instead of b a, a b, it would still work. And then C though has to be the longest side that's opposite the right angle, the hypotenuse. All right, so um, they're telling us the hypotenuse is one meter more than the longer leg. The longer leg in this case being A. So let's call the side A X. And they told us the shorter leg is five, so B is five. Then C is one meter more than the longer leg, so that's gonna be X plus one. So we have to plug in what we know, a is x, b is five, and c is x plus one into the relationship a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we get x squared plus five squared equals the quantity x plus one squared. Now this is tricky for people because um, this, this equation, in order to solve it for x, you have to do a little bit more advanced algebra than we did in the, uh, the um, similar triangles or uh, finding the marked angle problems. So just be pay special attention to this part right here. This is saying that you're multiplying x plus 1 times itself, which means that you have to multiply x plus 1 times x plus 1. A lot of times people think that it's going to be x squared plus 1 squared, but that's not actually true. You have to multiply it out, and when you do that, do you remember the little saying, a uh, little um, method called FOIL, F-O-I-L, first, outer, inner, last? So you're gonna multiply, let me not, I don't wanna do this step. You're gonna multiply x times x, that would be first times first, which gives you x squared. Outer times outer, one times x, one x inner times inner, 1x, and last times last, 1 times 1 is 1. So then combining these two like terms here, you can only combine uh, terms that have the same variable with the same power, so there's no like term for the x squared, but 1x plus 1x is 2x, and then the 1 stays the same. So that's the hardest algebra step in this problem right there. So you end up with x squared plus 25 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. And now we're going to try to um, notice that we have an x squared on each side. So if you subtract x squared from both sides, oops, if you subtract x squared from both sides, it's going to disappear. So we're left with just 25 equals 2x plus 1. So now it looks a little bit more like the equations we've solved before. You just want to get the numbers to one side and the variables to the other. So I'm going to subtract 1 from each side. So if 24 equals 2x, then dividing by 2 on both sides, that means that x is equal to 12. So we found x, which was side A, and that was the longer leg. That was the side that they asked us to look for. And we need to use the meters, so it, the answer would be 12 meters. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.